This is called a dog fight. It's an aerial battle between fighter aircrafts conducted at a close range. During a dog fight, individual skill of a pilot to maneuver the aircraft makes the difference. Split second decisions had to be made. Any camouflage helps, but fighters need to be sleek and maneuverable. So design solutions like this have to be subdued. Working within this limitation, one particular clever strategy for throwing off enemy planes involves painting a false canopy on the underside of an aircraft. The transparent cockpit enclosure on the top of a plane is visually mimicked and painted on its underside. It creates confusion for the enemy pilot to mistake the underside of the aircraft as the top in the heat of the moment. This is A10 Thunderbolt aircraft. Underneath we can see the false canopy painted. But in a combat situation it is very difficult to judge the top or underside of this aircraft. Camouflage in warfare is happening since a long time. This is USS West Mohammed in dazzle camouflage in World War 1. In World War 2 Churchill armored recovery vehicle had no room for an actual gun. but was fitted with a dummy weapon imitating the armed version of the same tank to give some protection like many camouflaging strategies this design approach borrows from precedents found in nature this is called auto mimicry auto mimicry involves self imitation unlike other camouflage which involves blending with the surroundings for example this is four-eyed butterfly fish mimicking its own eyes which are camouflage with a disruptive eye mask deflecting attacks from vulnerable head many blue butterflies such as this gray hair streak have a false head at the rear some species of owl shows false eye spots behind head likewise with the aircraft a fake canopy painted on the bottom can create confusion around the craft's altitude and potential maneuvers in 1970s us aviation artist keith ferris invented this false canopy This camouflage strategy was adopted by Air Force in Canada, South Africa and some other countries. Employing an extension of the same idea, some fighters also feature a diamond painted on their backs. These diamonds can make it difficult to ascertain the shape, orientation and direction of an aircraft. And thus a simple camouflage strategy can help in winning an air combat.